Hey guys, it's Zach from MooseSkill.com. Today we're going to be talking about the muscle up, a slightly more advanced ring movement. What we're going to talk about today is the pieces that you're going to need to put this together and then how we're going to approach this. Understand a few things. The muscle up is an advanced movement, but don't be afraid of it. While there is some inherent risk involved, as long as you're following the prerequisites, building up strength and capacity to the movement, it's actually quite safe to do. Things that we need to have beforehand, we need a really strong pull, ideally deep into the chest using the rings. You should also have really deep and controlled dips also on the rings. That ability to stabilize is really important in keeping your shoulders safe while you do this. The transition movement, the piece that most people think about for doing the muscle up, that should be done slow and controlled. We're going to always do the muscle up strict first before we add any momentum and a kip to it. And the reason is you need to be able to do this uh, safely. So. The first thing that we'd recommend you have in the bag is anywhere in the neighborhood of six to eight really solid ring pull-ups. And if you can do these in false grip, that's even better. So jump up to the rings, arms straight. And being able to pull deep into my chest is important. What I'm doing is I'm getting my fist and the ring below my shoulder slightly and this is going to allow me to pivot over the hand and this is the bottom of the dip so this is the transitional movement if you haven't seen our muscle up transition video already or you haven't tried it i recommend going back and looking at that so the transition for the muscle up start in a pull-up position i'm going to pull myself to the top lean forward and then up through my dip do not neglect the eccentric part of the movement. Control the descent, lower yourself down, ideally maintaining false grip. Again, up, lean forward, rings in tight, push up. Notice how I didn't throw one arm over at a time. My elbow stayed tucked tight, right? Just like we work on in the transition movement. Once I'm here at the top of the rings, I'm going to keep my elbows in, push to the top and turn the rings out slightly. From there, back down. Like I said, don't ignore the eccentric part of the motion. That's really important. Lower yourself down. If you fall out of false grip or you need to come down, jump off, shake it off and try again. Take your time with something like this. Make sure you have six to eight good chest to bar pull-ups or chest to ring pull-ups, six to eight quality dips on the rings, and then work on the transition on the ground. While it's important to have chest to bar pull-ups, it's also good to notice that the ring muscle up is a lot more like a ring row where I'm pulling deep into my chest and then using that transitional movement to get on top of the rings. So having that ability to do say some false grip ring rows with your body at parallel will help you get towards something like the muscle up. Once you think you have that, try it unassisted or sorry without a kip. The real key here is control through the entire movement. We'll talk about kipping muscle ups later in terms of metabolic conditioning or something to throw in a workout, but this should be your first goal. I hope this inspires you to go after and get it a little bit. Have a good one, guys.